Welcome back to Motorblade guys. We are here at Wilkins Harley Davidson in Barrie, Vermont, and we are taking out for a test ride the brand new 2022 Rogue Glide Special. Usually the Rogue Glide Specials are blacked out, but this year they offer a chrome version of the special. Chrome pipes, chrome engine cover, chrome accents. I'm not the biggest fan of chrome, but I do kind of like the way this looks. It's growing on me. But the true test will be on the road, so let's get to it. guys man nothing quite feels like a road glide big fixed frame mounted fairing out there in front of you so as you guys know if you've been on my channel I have certain criteria that I use to critique motorcycles when we go on these test rides lots of features packed onto this 2022 road glide special and we're gonna break them all down into some categories and do a detailed walk around of the bike for you guys as well we're going to start off with what I consider to be the number one most important thing on a motorcycle, and that is comfort. If a bike is not comfortable, you're not going to want to ride it. So, on the Road Glide Special, we've got a very cushy seat from Harley. Usually, you're looking for a stiffer seat, something that offers a little more support. I'm a big fan of custom seats, but this is probably the most comfortable seat that Harley offers stock from the factory. It is the same seat that they offer on the Street Glide. And if you guys are looking for a video on the Street Glide, I have one for the 2022 Street Glide Special, link down below. The riding position is the second part of that component for comfort. And on this bike, we've got the big, not really beach, they're almost more like mini apes. A little bit of a sweep up and back to you, but the rise is not significant. It's only about maybe 10 inches there comes back comfortably my hands are almost back over top of my knees in a very low down relaxed position I feel like if I was gonna go for a long haul I may want to have them up a little higher but this is very comfortable for now my feet are not stretched way out in front of me I might want to put an extended reach seat on here as they feel like they're a little more underneath not perfectly at a 90 degree angle but pretty close they're not sticking like way out there the seat comes up my back a little bit, provides a nice bit of support for your lower back for about two or three inches there. I think it has a slot on top. In fact, I can reach back there and feel. Yes, it does. So there's a slot on top of the seat. You could get a uh, backrest to put in there if you were going to go for long haul and you wanted some more back support. That's definitely an option. Of course, the Rogue Glide has all kinds of options for comfort when it comes to ventilation. You've got the vent up top which is activated by a switch up there on the fairing you can close these vents off down below you here as well I believe I forget where the switch is for that right now I'll look for it when we get up here there are also some comfort features available such as heated grips I do not think it comes stock with those but it does come stock with cruise control nice for when you're taking those very long highway trips overall the comfort gonna give it a nine and a half out of ten Excellent comfort. Again, I would probably go for an extended reach aftermarket seat, something from Saddleman, but that's just a personal preference there. Stock from the factory, this is very, very comfortable. Let's talk about handling. Some people are thrown by the fixed fairing on these motorcycles. Personally, I like it. It's just a visual thing to get used to. Very flickable side to side. I can just lean this bike over, throw it into the turn very easily. Very good handling. I feel like I'm sitting further up on this bike than I would maybe on my Indian or on a Sportster. So I feel like my upright position more forward over the center of mass of the bike lends to the flickability and the maneuverability that I have with the handling. I'm going to pull into a parking lot here and give you guys a very detailed walk around of the motorcycle. 
show it off to you guys and go over all the details of that fancy uh, digital screen up there as well. Up, oh, brake, kickstand, parked. So the 2022 Road Glide Special again in the Chrome variant. Dual floating disc brakes up front. That classic shark nose fairing of the Road Glide with brand new LED headlamps from Harley. Got the low highway bar instead of the more classic, large, uh, more rounded highway bars. We've gone for a shorter, narrower bar. This is the 114 Milwaukee 8 engine. Now, if you get the Road Glide standard, it's going to come with a 107. And if you get the Road Glide ST, which is a new offering from Harley this year, that will come with a 117 cubic inch engine. As a touring bike, it's already set up for your passenger. Got your pillion, got your passenger pegs, and you've got good luggage storage solutions. So with the Special, you have stretched saddlebags, a little bit larger than standard. Nice, deep, long bags, plenty of room for storing your groceries or your stuff for a long trip or camping. In the back, nothing too special to write home about. No LEDs. We've opted for halogens. Not sure why we haven't gone full LED there yet. Got a nice little LED trim light down there, though. Up front here, we have some storage options as well. Going to turn that off, save the battery. we got a 12-volt plug-in right here, so you can charge your stuff on the go. We also have a small storage compartment up here. It's fairly deep. Let's see, can I get my hand back in there? i say it's about 10 inches back into there. You can put your phone, wallet, keys. Same thing on the other side. And on this side, you also have a USB plug in there. So you can charge your phone over on that side if you want, or plug in and update or send things to the GPS like maps, if you've done them already on your computer. Up here you can open or close this air dam to allow more airflow to come in, sweep up. In theory that reduces uh, buffeting at high speeds. She's a good looking bike. Not a huge fan of the chrome, I would prefer the blacked out, but again that's all going to be subjective to everybody. I personally like the blacked out specials. All right, so let's discuss the electronic features of the Road Glide Special. Lots of gauges and things to look at everywhere. Nice thing about the Street Glide, I think, over the Road Glide is the screen is closer to you for utilizing the touchscreen. Now, having it farther away from you, maybe that's a better thing. You can't really reach it when you're riding, and uh, maybe that's a good thing for safety so you're not fooling with it. You do have controls on your handlebars to help you cycle through things so that's probably a safer way to do it anyway if we go home we've got the standard harley navigation screen six inches we've got music if it's paired to your phone you can listen to that let's see so we got fm radio am radio and we also have weather band and paired to your phone with bluetooth you can listen to spotify pandora whatever you want go back home or we can tap home over here on our left handlebar control and we can go to navigation on our right handlebar control. I can scroll left, right, up, down, and hit enter. So that's how I'm manipulating the screen from back here. We'll go to nav, hit enter, and we can zoom out, zoom in, change the orientation of the map. We can also hit our point, go back. We can search for destinations. If you have the Harley Davidson app, uh, paired to the bike with Bluetooth. It's grayed out right now because I do not. But if you do, if you have a route already planned on your phone, just send it to the bike and you're good to go. You can also find gas stations, uh, restaurants, hotels, Harley dealerships, also emergency services, hospital, police, and fire. Nice having lots of options there. If we go over here to the right, it won't do anything if we hit that because we don't have a phone connected, but if your phone was there, it would have your contacts. You can make phone calls, see your text messages as they come in, send some automated replies. You also have the option, it's grayed out down here because again, don't have one connected, but right here, this headset, if you have it paired to the infotainment system on the Harley, you can talk through your headset in the helmet and do voice control to command it to play things, open up navigation, make a phone call. So very nice and very helpful. Keeps you more hands-free on the road, which is always safer. Keep those hands on the controls at all times. In addition to that, of course, we just have our standard analog gauges. We have fuel, battery voltage, tachometer, speedometer, and down here we have some information which we can cycle through with this uh, 
little fingertip control over here on our left handlebar. So right now we have 13.8 miles on trip A. Trip B, remaining fuel range, 214. Total odometer of 14. And back to trip A. One other thing we can do up here, obviously you have settings, you can adjust base, treble, there's also some settings you can do to set up this screen. Harley has added a new feature. If we press and hold over here on our right handlebar control, we can change the contrast of that screen from blue and black to orange and white. So depending on how the sun is hitting it, if there's any glare, you can change the contrast and make it easier to read depending on the riding condition. Lastly, up here on the right hand side, we've got info. If we tap on that, we can see lots of information about the motorcycle including our engine info. Last time we had a service. Uh, let's see. We've got trip summaries, gallons used, stops, average speed, miles per gallon. Lots of fun info to look at. We also have our elevation and temperature outside. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to stats, so I like that. Might be information overload for some of you, but personally, I like it all. Now, as far as the audio is concerned, I have a microphone inside of my full face helmet here. My windscreen is now down, and I'm going to turn the volume up here on the radio. And so this simulates what you guys would probably be hearing as far as uh, volume inside of your full face helmet. So there's halfway. The Subaru of New England Go Green event is going on now. Take your next adventure in a brand new 2022. Subaru. It's pretty good at about three quarter power. That was plenty loud. I, I really didn't even want to take it much louder than that. That was pretty darn good. No one coming, no one coming. No one coming that way, no one coming that way. So we've talked about the comfort, we've talked about the handling, we have also talked about the digital features and the storage components of this nice bike. But now we're going to talk about power. We are running the Milwaukee A114 engine in here. Of course, there are two other variants. In the standard, you have the 107. In the ST, you have the 117. So, just related to the Milwaukee 8114, I am going to put the specs up on the screen. It's somewhere around 115 to 120 foot-pounds of torque, if I remember correctly. Plenty of power for the highway, plenty of torque for get up and go, and you need that extra torque in a big heavy bike like this. I will also have the weight specs up on the screen as well. So once we get around this corner up here, we'll get into the power band a little bit. The power response in this is very, very smooth. Like one, you know, first gear is usually kind of grabby and jerky when you're getting on the throttle. But the new electronic throttle response that Harley has been fine tuning is just very smooth. The application of the power, it doesn't grab, it doesn't throw, it's very linear, very smooth, very controllable, and it feels good, not only in your hand, but in the seat of your pants. It just feels good when you get deep into that throttle. It doesn't throw you, it's just power and very smooth application of the power. Very, very smooth. You know, these aren't your grandpa's Harleys that rattled and shaked and you from side to side when you would dig into the throttle. It doesn't rattle your bones. This is a very, very smooth bike. Very, very smooth. Wow. I'm impressed with that. I'm very impressed. So looks, you guys saw some of those great body shots of the bike at the beginning of the video. Thanks to Harley Davidson for providing those. I appreciate it, guys. Looks are going to be subjective to everyone. I think it looks good. You guys already heard me say I, I'm not a fan of chrome. I would prefer the blacked out look. And they have that available as an option for the special. But this is a great looking bike, I think. I do like the look of the Road Glide with that shark nose fairing and the LED lights. I like the cockpit view as well because really you're not looking at this bike from the front. When you're riding, this is what you have to look at. So I think they did a good job with the layout of the cockpit for you guys. I like the gloss black look. It's very classy. It's not, you know, the, some obnoxious color that pops. It doesn't have a lot of metal flake. In fact, I don't think it has any metal flake in it. It's just a gloss black finish. It looks very classy. It's pleasant to look at. The curves are nice. I like having the analog gauges and having that digital screen up there in front of you. 
I don't have to turn my head to see anything. I can just take a very brief glance and get all the info I need. They did a very good job with the layout of the infotainment system as well as preserving the analog gauges for those of us who prefer the old school style gauges. So what's my overall opinion on this bike? Well, this is Harley's primo touring offering on two wheels. They do have a trike, but this is really their best motorcycle you can get for touring. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's an excellent, excellent machine. It should be at the top of your list for Harley if you're considering a touring model. The Street Glide is good as well, but I think the Road Glide just offers a few more options. What's up, dude? The Road Glide just offers a few more things that the Street Glide doesn't, like a few more storage options up front, the fixed fairing, and the riding position feels great on both, but I think it's just a little more refined on here on the Road Glide. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. I will try to get back and answer any questions you guys have. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It's a big red button. Click the bell icon next to it, and that will give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. We are back here at Wilkins Harley-Davidson in Barrie, Vermont. Thank you guys so much down here at Wilkins. I appreciate you guys having me come down and do these test rides and putting up with me for a few hours. I appreciate that whenever you guys let me do this. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, y'all know what to do. Ride safe, ride on. I'll catch you on the next video.